Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. It is hot and smoky. We're taking a live look right now at the Fawn Fire. Still tracked at 5,800 acres, 25 buildings destroyed, 4,000 people forced from home. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff is tracking those conditions. Jason, compared to what we were seeing yesterday with the wind, this fire obviously it's still burning, but it's looking better. Yeah, much better. And also the good comparison I was noticing last night we had the update. It was 5,500 acres this morning and it only gained 350 more acres of burned ground. So 350 acres in 12 hours. That's very encouraging thanks to a lot of fantastic firefighting as well as the shifting of the wind and the weakening of the wind too. However, we're not done yet. We still have more fire danger ahead. I'm going to get out of the way so you can see our incoming Pacific storm is going to cause more wind also. So we already have a fire weather watch out for eastern Modoc County, most of Lassen County and eastern Plumas County. This is for Monday from noon until 10 o'clock with gusts up to 40 miles an hour possible. Dry air continues, but that is before our chance for some wet weather arrives and we will have some light rain. More details about that coming up right now, though, it is still hot outside. 99 degrees in Red Bluff and Corning. It's 98 degrees in Redding, 95 degrees in Chico, even 90 degrees in Paradise and 87 degrees in Chester. Not much cloud cover. We've had a lot of smoke, not only from the fawn fire from the north, but also with that southerly airflow, we now have more smoke in the air from the Southern California fires. We're going to talk about that with our smoke tracker coming up a little bit later on in our broadcast. As far as the clouds are concerned, expecting a mostly sunny Saturday and Sunday in advance of that Pacific storm that I've been talking about all week. So enjoy the cool down that we're expecting. The wind won't be as strong except some gusty wind over the eastern plateau, eastern foothills, the Sierra and the Sierra themselves. But then here comes that Pacific storm Monday, expect increasing clouds late Monday into Tuesday. That's the most opportune time to have a little bit of rain, most of which is going to be over the mountains. And also, unfortunately, that wind is going to get gustier late Monday through much of Tuesday. That will slide right on past. We'll have that chance for some wet weather, then drying out with some lingering breezes Wednesday, and then a mixture of clouds and sunshine for late next week. Now, one of our models here, not giving us impressive amounts of rain, but we'll still take it. The valley most likely will have less than a tenth of an inch, but the higher elevations could receive between a quarter of an inch and two thirds of an inch. I'm going to keep my eyes on this all the way through the weekend into early next week for you and let you know just how much rain is going to fall. As far as the wind is concerned, especially in the vicinity of the fawn fire. It's good to see very little wind in the forecast in the short term and still moving from south to north. That's the direction that we want it to. So it's burning back upon itself. We'll still have some gusty wind both Saturday afternoon and Sunday afternoon in our far eastern counties, and it's going to get windier for everybody Monday and Tuesday. So here's your forecast for Saturday. It's not going to be quite as hot as it has been, but we'll still be fairly warm for the first weekend of autumn highs in the northwestern mountains in the upper 80s and lower 90s and it's still going to be hazy too for northeastern California also highs in the 80s tomorrow after a cool morning in the 30s and 40s we'll have that gusty wind developing in the afternoon both Saturday and Sunday but a little bit windier on Monday and Tuesday for the ridge also breezes tomorrow afternoon, but that wind will be stronger early next week. Lows tomorrow morning in the 60s and lower 70s highs from 77 degrees in Butte Meadows to the mid 80s around Paradise and lower 80s from Megalia and Concow for the valley. We'll also have a little bit more haze and smoke in the air, but a lot of that fawn fire smoke will start burning or blowing to the north rather. So not as bad air quality wise as it has been lows near 60 highs, more seasonable lower 90s tomorrow afternoon and the Chico area. Expect some more haze in the air. Lows also near 60. Highs in the seasonable lower 90s with smoke approaching from the south. Next seven days in Chico, it really cools down. Windy weather possible late Monday into Tuesday. That's when we'll have the best chance for some light rain. Highs drop down to the mid 70s. And for Reading, lower 90s tomorrow, lower 80s Monday with a chance for some gusty wind and rain showers. That'll last through Tuesday with highs dropping into the upper 70s.